In f, we've got x squared minus y squared minus z squared equals 1. Okay? Hmm. How do we deal with that? Well, let's have a look. F. Minus. Now, the more familiar you get with these surfaces, you'll probably just be able to recognise what the um, behaviour of these surfaces are just by looking at the... Um, at the uh, equations involved, okay? But it, it's hard to sort of, if you're not that comfortable with it, it, it you know, you want to be able to justify it, right? All right, so the, the standard procedure for this would be, all right, let's have a look at what happens in the xy plane, the draw the level curve, and then maybe have a look at some sort of intersection with one of the vertical planes. It's a little bit hard with this problem because you get a whole bunch of hyperbole and it's very, very difficult to understand how to put them together. Okay? So I'm going to show you a, a, a different way. I'm going to look at the level curves in the YZ plane and, and do it that way. Okay? How, how did I know that? Well, the first time I did it, I got all these hyperbole and I'm like, oh, I can't quite connect them together. Let's look at some different, some different perspectives. Okay? So the level curves in the YZ plane. So I'm going to set X equal to a constant. So if I rearrange this, I'll get something like the following. All right, so I'm just going to um, rearrange a little bit and I'm going to get, uh, sorry, y squared plus z squared equals um, c squared minus 1. So where c is a constant. Now, note, can anyone see a restriction on, on the constant c already? Well, c squared has to be greater than or equal to 1 because we've got something that's non-negative here, right? If you square two things down and you get something that's non-negative, so you can't have anything negative here, right? So whatever c values you choose, you've got to make sure that c squared is greater than or equal to 1. Otherwise, it, it just won't make sense. Okay, so, assuming that we choose C um, large and positive or large and negative, what is the underlying form? What's the curve of this underlying sort of equation going to be in the, in the YZ plane? Does it look familiar? Circle, right? Yeah. Assuming C's, C squared is large enough, this is going to be a circle. Again, with centre 0, 0 and radius root c squared minus 1. So let's just draw a few, right? So now I'm working in the yz plane. Okay, so if c equals 1, then you'll get just this point here. Okay, so I've determined something. Again, imagine that x, positive x-axis is coming out of the screen at you. Okay, so you're looking down the barrel of the x-axis here, and you're looking at basically intersections of the... Um, surface with uh, the intersections of these surfaces with the 
planes are just these circles. Okay, well, so I guess that's part one. Now, I'm going to intersect the surface um, with, again, a, a vertical plane. Oh, sorry, um, uh, not in this case a vertical plane, uh, the XY plane. So we set z equals 0. And our start equation will then become x squared minus y squared equals 1. OK, so x squared minus y squared equals positive 1. Anybody know what kind of curve does that lead to? Kind of, what kind of curve in the xy plane? x squared minus y squared equals 1. Yeah, hyperbola, right, a hyperbola. So, okay, so if I uh, just draw this, I'm going to get something like this. The intersections are going to be at 1 and minus 1. OK, so how, how do we put it all together? This is, this is where you need to sort of try to think from a few different perspectives. How do we combine these with these? Well, all I did was just draw little circles in here. OK, and imagine the, um, again, the positive z-axis is coming out of, out of the screen to you. Okay, so how do you put that together? So I guess, you know, if I wanted to be a bit, you know, I'd, I'd sort of draw these things in here for some sort of effect. Okay, so let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, so I've got something like this. Something like this. Okay, and this sort of just keeps on going. So this is a two-sheet hyperboloid. So again, if I was being quite careful, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd um, maybe take a bit more care with my picture there. 